everybody, welcome to Excel Video 369. I've been spending some time recently getting stuff ready for MGMA's annual conference in San Diego this fall. There'll be some very interesting ideas around business intelligence and data mining. I'd love to see you at that MGMA conference in San Diego in October. I'm going to do two more things with this data set that we prepared last time. The first one's easy. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to come next door here and if I wanted to get rid of the pennies on this one, we could always round each one as we went through and then sum that or whatever. Let me show you one other one that's out there. If we sum the absolute value, T-R-U-N-C is a truncate formula. that will just get rid of the, whatever's after the decimal. It's not going to round up or down or whatever. It's just going to drop whatever's after the decimal, whatever fraction you might have. So we're going to take the sum of the absolute value of the truncated amount of these folks. So we're going to do that. F4 because sometimes I'm in the habit there. Finish the trunk, the absolute value, and the sum functions, control, shift, and enter. And now I can tell you that the overall 1302 number is 1296 if we don't look at the pennies, if we just add the numbers to the left of the decimal, that kind of thing. Rounding works. This works. It's not a big deal, but I thought you might use truncate sometimes, so I'd show you as part of this. Second thing I want to show you is, you remember small and some of the things we did with that? We can use small to sort this data on the fly. Let's say we want to see what are my top three appeal issues and track those and, and work them. We can do equals small. And as you remember from some of those earlier Excel videos, show me the array is, oop, it's not going to work unless I want to do three of these. There we go. Equals small. There's the array. And then I'm going to hit F4 to lock that in, comma. And then the K is what number do you want the first, the second, the third smallest, or whatever. Remember what we're going to do is we're going to put it in brackets, and we're going to put another array in here, one, semicolon, two, semicolon, three. Then I've got to finish the brackets. Then I've got to finish small, control, shift, enter. And I can tell you these are the three biggest issues, the three smallest numbers, which small numbers are under payments, the way we've got this thing Sort it, and we come over here and format paint to make it look the same. And then we could always go do the lookup thing we've done in earlier videos or whatever. But the point is, we could set this up to sort the top three, the top five, the top ten, and always make sure that's what we're focused on, that's what we're working on, off of these allowed amounts where somehow the payer didn't pay us the contracted rate. That's what I wanted to show you with this data set. Stay tuned. I've got another one I want to talk through. We'll do it next time. Thanks for watching.